Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 55. What you're seeing here is my tablet, my Android tablet. It's actually an Acer 500. There's my hand there. Um, what I wanted to show you today is a program that I've been working with for um, a couple of months now. And the author has been uh, improving uh, this application uh, to the point now where I think it's a really excellent application for people who are um, into listening to or working amateur radio satellites, including the uh, radio station on the International Space Station. So let me show you this program. I'll bring it up right now. Now, the name of the program is II, excuse me, ISS, International Space Station, Detector. It was originally written just to uh, monitor uh, that satellite or that space station and predict when it was coming overhead and show you the track when it was going overhead. Now, over the course of the months, the author has expanded this program to include other satellites, for instance, um, satellites that are interested um, to the amateur radio operators and just listeners in general, such as uh, the uh, amateur radio satellites themselves, uh, NOAA satellites uh, for downloading weather information, weather pictures from the NOAA satellites, and, of course, the International Space Station. And what the author has done also, uh, and I don't know how to pronounce this correctly, iridium, in, iridium flares, which are um, devices up in space that reflect the sun and will cause a flare, and you can see these flares. So this program also includes tracking them. Now, what the author has done is, like I say, the original program was written for tracking the uh, flares and the ISS. And um, it, the basic program is free. There's no charge. It runs on both Android phones and Android tablets. I'm showing it here on the tablet because it shows up a little nicer on the tablet. And he now, since he has added the capability of also monitoring amateur radio satellites. He does charge uh, an extra fee, I believe it's a dollar, to get that, that option turned on. Also, um, the free version of the software down at the bottom, um, which you don't see because I, I, have, I have updated, um, he runs some ads, which are very unobtrusive, not a big deal, so the ads are not a big deal. And you have to pay a dollar to get rid of those ads. So the total cost, if you want to pay for all the options, is $2. Now, um, and the main option you, you would want to buy is the one that gives you the satellite tracking. Now, on the phone, if you put this application on your phone, you will see one of these two screens. These are two separate screens. On the tablet, whoops. Uh, on the tablet, there's enough room to easily display both screens at the same time. Now, this side of the screen, or the one screen on the phone, is showing you a listing of all the upcoming satellites that are that will be passing overhead within the next 24, 48 hours, depending on which how many satellites you choose. And if you've got the option for the amateur radio satellites, you can go in and choose which satellites you want to track. If you only have the option, the free version, which gives you the ISS and the flares, you can choose either one of those to track. So for instance, if you don't want to track the, the uh, you don't want to track the flares, you can turn that off. Also, so this this gives you a listing. It tells you um, when the satellite is coming over, what the duration is, and uh, What's the height, the maximum height? 
Also over here, now I, I accidentally clicked one of them, and when you click one of these, it will display this radar display of what the track is going to be, and it provides you some detailed information about that satellite. Um, this particular one that I accidentally selected is NOAA 19. So it tells me when it's coming over, uh, when it's the pass is going to finish, and what the maximum elevation is going to be. Also tells me the frequency that it's operating on. For instance, this satellite is operating in 137.1 megahertz. Then this radar shows you a graphical representation of the path of this particular path. And it has a compass that will, once the path starts, this compass will move along this track to show you where the satellite is in real time, which is very helpful if you're trying to work an amateur radio satellite or listen to the ISS, for instance, and you can point your antenna to the, in, in the right direction to receive that. So... Uh, a couple of other features he's added. He's added um, a button here for sharing on the Internet sightings that you've had or are going to have. Um, he's got a refresh button to refresh this list with the latest information, um, refresh the satellite information from the, um, the uh, information that tells you the uh, Kemper elements of the satellites. And you can also, uh, for each of the satellites, you can turn on a notification of the satellite's approach. And then you, when you turn it on, you can set how early it tells you. Like, it, does it tell you 10 minutes before the satellite starts coming up over the horizon? Or does it tell you um, 15 minutes, half hour, whatever? So you can set that for each satellite. You can also set um, that uh, what you want to be, when you want to be notified. How high does a satellite have to be above the horizon before you've notified it, and it will, and when it will show on this list? So, like, for instance, I said um, I don't want to have any information of satellites that don't. Um, have a maximum uh, pass of greater than, say, 25 degrees. Otherwise, it's just too low for where I'm located, and it'll be below the trees. So you can set that up. So as you can see, he's added a lot of nice feature to this. Um, I think you'd really like it if you're into tracking satellites and working satellites. And uh, like I say, it's, uh, it, the name of it is ISS Detector, and can be found on the uh, Android Store. And like I say, the, the basic program which tracks the flares and the ISS is free. If you want to track amateur radio satellites, uh, it's an additional dollar. So thanks for watching. That's the show for today.